Hey, yesterday the Knicks beat the 76ers 97-92. That series is 3-1. And Jalen Bronson scores 47 in the win. Joel Embiid scores 27 in the loss. For the Sixers, Clippers, Mavericks, Clippers tie the series at two apiece. And the rest of the games for the night. The Pacers beat the Bucks 126-113. Miles Turner finishes with 29. And Brock Lopez finishes with 27 in the loss. In the other NBA game, Timberwolves Suns. Suns are swept as the Timberwolves win 122-116. Anthony Edwards... 40, and Devin Booker gives it a try, and he scores 49, but it was not enough. 122-116, Timberwolves. That wraps up that series. Then tonight's games, Celtics Heat. Heat have a chance to go up 3-1. Pelicans and Thunder. Pelicans are in brinks of elimination as they will play at home. 7-30 tip time. For the Celtics and Heat game, watch out for Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler. For the Thunder and Pelicans game, watch out for Shai Alexandra and, and Brandon Ingram. Game time is at 7.30 for the New Orleans and Thunder. Monday night, 3-1 Nuggets. Nuggets have another chance to close out the Lakers. At home, 9 o'clock, Monday, TNT. That's basketball. I'll be the Mets beat the Cardinals 4-2. Final on 11. Here's it. Two-run shot. Red Sox go for another walk-off against the Cubs. 5-4. Final and nine on a walk-off. First and third, nobody out. Fly ball. Little bit coming over the shortstop. He had to lean over, and he missed it. And then I don't know if they would have got him anyways. So that's your final. 5-4. Red Sox over Cubs. Ball. The Cubs end. The Cardinals play the Tigers tonight. Same as the Royals did. Same as the Royals did this weekend. I mean, the Royals obviously lost that series. And the, the Cubs play the Mets tonight. Switch places. Cardinals switch to the Tigers. Cubs switch to the Mets. Game time for the Mets and Cubs game 6-10. Royals will play the Blue Jays 6-07. For the Royals, it'll be Jonathan Bowen for the Royals and Yal Rodriguez for the Blue Jays. For the Cardinals and Tigers, it'll be Steven Matz and Kenton Medea. And for the Cubs and Mets, it'll be Jamison Tomlinson and Luis Savino. Game time, 6-10. That's baseball! The Bears are building a new are trying to build a new stadium and get the county to pass it. Here we go. The Bears are planning to build Art of the Domed Lakefront Stadium. Estimated to be around four point seven billion. The cost covered by a combination of private fundings and public fundings. We are excited to the greatest city in the world stadium to project the site important will we will benefit for Chicago Bears. Christian Gomley. The stadium plan has 70,000 seats underway. The Dome. The new stadium would sit just south of Soldier Field. 
which would be torn down, expect for the historic site, the columns would have, from more from part of the sweeping campus, which f- would feature parks and public areas and feature athletic fields, the new the old Bears Stadium would. The Bears also project it would be an increasing creating green space in the museum campus lakefront. Mayor Brandon James said the plan is for is a win for Chicago and he fully board on the plan as lifelong Bears fan. It's an honor to celebrate the Bears commitment to the Chicago Bears. Mayor Brandon James said I really want to thank McCaskey family and the entire Bears organization for betting Chicago and among one of the largest private organizations investments. Yeah, well, delighted to be able to announce uh, that we extended not only Andy, but Brett Veach and Mark Donovan as well. Uh, The three of them have done a tremendous job leading the organization uh, during their tenure with us. Uh, The three of them work extremely uh, well together, and the success that we've had on the field and off is is a credit to them. Uh, Obviously delighted uh, to have all of them on board uh, for a, a number of years. Um, I, I talked a little bit about it before the Super Bowl uh, when people were asking questions about how long Andy was going to go and speculating that he might be ready to retire. I just didn't have that sense. I, you know, he, I think he's really enjoying uh, what he's doing um, and with good reason. And uh, um, I, I was glad to be able to confirm that he wants to keep doing it as long as his health will allow it. He read on the best coach in the NFL. Andy Reid is the best coach in the NFL by far. It's not even close. Better than Bill Belichick, maybe. He's done it under more players. Andy Reid has several players winning games. The coach, other coaches that have won Super Bowls, Doug Peterson with another team, Sean Payton with the Saints. Also, on other teams, Mike McCarthy won a Super Bowl with the Packers in 2010. Mike Tomlin won his with at the Steelers in 2008. Sean McVay became the youngest coach to win it in 2022 before the Chiefs went back to back in 2023 and 2024. Why is Andy Reid the 
best in, fo in football. Simple. He won a Super Bowl back to back. He has developed a quarterback and been to. Or went to been to six AFC championships in a row, all with the Chiefs, and went to the AFC championship with the Eagles. Four due to time, we'll stop right there. All the Chiefs front office paid the most in the league. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Clark Hunt moving forward and doing the right job.